the Great Ladies Conference 2018, ministering Bishop Thomas Muthe. I want us to sit down for a moment. I'll be calling you praise team. Ninaomba tuketi kwa muda kikundi cha sifa na kuabudu nitawalika baadaye. I'm going to call you in a moment. Nitawalika hivi karibuni. And say I'm very grateful to God for each one of you this morning or this afternoon. Na mshukuru Mungu kwa kila mmoja wetu wa dhuhuri ya leo. And there is something that I was explaining to some of the people up there that I want you to listen. Na kuna jambo nililokuwa nawaelezea watu pale juu ambalo ningependa usikilize. When I was growing up and they would tell us we will go for a camp. Na wakati nilikuwa mchanga na nilikuwa ninakuwa tulikuwa tunaambiwa ya kwamba tutaenda camp mahali. Later it became conference. Baadaye ikabadilika kuwa kongamano. I need to listen to this. Na nataka usikilize haya. We knew we are going for an encounter with God. Tulijua ya kwamba tulikuwa tunaenda kukutana na Mungu. Every one of us. Kila mmoja wetu when we were coming wakati tulikuwa tunakuja from home kutoka nyumbani we knew I'm going to meet with God. Tulifahamu vyema ya kwamba tulienda kukutana na Mungu. Later things changed. Baadaye mambo yakabadilika. There's something we have lost. Kuna kitu ambacho tumepoteza. They became events. Yaka ikaanza kuwa tu mikutano ya kawaida. Events. Mambo ya maonyesho ya aina fulani. And that's why we brought in a lot of entertainment. Na ndio maana tukaleta utubuizaji mwingi sana. We even hire people to organize the event. Hata tunakomboa watu ili waandae mikutano yetu. Thank God we have wonderful ladies they organize very well good I mean very well here. Tunamshukuru Mungu tuko na wadada wa ajabu walio tuandalia mkutano huu. But I want you to see something. Lakini kuna jambo nataka uone. I know they will feel disappointed if you don't meet with God them having done all that they have done. Tulikuwa tunasikia vibaya sana watasikia vibaya sana kama hautakutana na Mungu kulingana na yale yote wamefanya. And this is this is the program. I'll give you the program now. Na nitawapatia ratiba hivi karibuni. This day we set it for prayer. Tulitenga siku hii kwa ajili ya maombi. And we are going to pray, you know, one item to another. Na tutaombea jambo moja kuelekea lingine. Yesterday God spoke to us. Jana Mungu alitunenea that he is actually waiting at the well for that woman to come. Ya kwamba yeye amekaa pale kisimani akimngojea yule mama awasili. And I want you to know he knows you by name. Na ninataka ujue ya kwamba anakufahamu kwa jina lako. The purpose of him waiting by the well Kusudi lake kusubiri pale kisimani is not so that you can come and draw water for her. Sio ili ufike upate kumtekea maji. But it's so that you can come. Lakini ni kwamba wewe ufike and he can give you living water. Akupatie maji aliyo hai. I'll say that again. Nitarudia mara tena. He is the one who has been waiting. Yeye ndiye ambaye amekuwa akigojea. He has been waiting. Amekuwa akigojea. And today, na leo, because we are talking about placement. Maana tunanena mambo ya kuwekwa mahali. This woman being placed right at the well. Huyu mwanamke akiwekwa pale kisimani. Rachel being placed at the well. Raquel akiwekwa pale kisimani. Rebecca right at the well. Rebecca pia pale kisimani. I want you to listen to this very very carefully. Nataka usikie haya kwa makini sana. There is a woman in the Bible. Kuna mwanamke katika Biblia. She knew the importance of placement. Alijua umuhimu wa kuwekwa mahali kimakusudi. You know you you are you placing someone in the presence of God for an assignment. Kuweka mtu katika uwepo wa Mungu kukiwa na kazi fulani ya kutekeleza. And that's what I want us to talk about. Na hayo ndio nataka tunene juu yake leo. Then we will pray. 
Halafu tutaomba. I will say again. Nita then we will pray. Kwamba baadaye tutaomba. And I will show you how we are going to pray. Na nitawaonyesha vile tutakavyoomba. And friends, we will pray in this session. Na rafiki zangu tutaomba katika mkutano huu. In fact, this session is basically preparation. Hakika kipindi hiki ni cha kuandaliwa. But in the afternoon at 2. Lakini kipindi kitakachofuata we will be here tutakuwa hapa tomorrow kesho our guest speakers will be here mgeni wetu ambaye atatunenea atakuwa amefika you will have a lot of teachings mtapata mafundisho mengi but today lakini leo god wants to do something in your life Kuna jambo Mungu anataka kutenda katika maisha yako. Listen to this very carefully. Sikiliza haya kwa makini. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Wacha nikuonyeshe ninachokinenea. Go to first Samuel. Samueli wa kwanza. Chapter 2. Mbili. And we will begin from verse 18. Tuanze mstari wa 18. And we will go all the way to verse 21. Mpaka 21. This is so important. Hii ni ya muhimu sana. And I thank God for the overseers who are here with us. Na shukuru mungu kwa overseers walio nasi. In a moment you will see how important it was for you to be here. Kwa munda mtaelewa ilikuwa ya maana sana kwe nukua hapa. As an overseer, as a pastor. Wewe ukiwa overseer ama mchungaji. Go ahead now. Second, first Samuel chapter. Two. Chapter two. Verse 18 to 21. Verse 18 to 21. Lakini Samueli alikuwa akitumika mbele za bwana naye alikuwa kijana mwenye kuvaa na ivera ya kitani. Tena mama yeye humfanyizia kanzu ndogo na kumletea mwaka kwa mwaka. Hapo alipokwea pamoja na mumewe ili kutoa dhabihu kila mwaka. Naye Eli akambariki Elkana na mkewe akasema Bwana na akupe uzao kwa mwanamke huyu badala ya azimo aliloazimia Bwana kisha wakaenda nyumbani mwao naye Bwana akamwangalia hana naye akachukua mimba akazaa watoto wa kiume watatu na wakike wawili naye huyo mtoto Samueli akakuwa mbele za Bwana Now I want you to see something Kuna jambo ninataka ulione Today we will pray for our children Leo tunaenda kuombea watoto wetu. We will pray for our grandchildren. Tunaombea watoto wa watoto wetu. Listen to what I'm saying. Sikiliza ninayoyasema. Many of you remember that Samuel was born out of a vow. Wengi wenu mnakumbuka ya kwamba Samueli alizaliwa kutokana na na nadhiri. The Bible comes and says, Hannah was being provoked almost every day by Penina. Because she was barren. But one day out of desperation, she is in the house of God. And she makes a vow. And she tells, she tells God, if you give me a male child kama utanibariki na mtoto wa kiume to take away my reproach ili uniondole lawama i am going to get this boy and take him to your house to, so that he can serve you all days of his life nitakupatia huyu mtoto wa kutumikia siku zote za maisha yake how many women here have children and your greatest desire your greatest prayer is that those children will serve God all days of their lives. That means I'm talking to the right crowd. Because when this boy was born, out of great pain, then this mama waited until he was weaned about three years or four years and then he was taken to the house of God. Uh, watch this. About three, four years. 
And when, when this boy was brought to the house of God, he, he was not brought empty handed. In fact, there was a huge bull that accompanied him. As a form of sacrifice. And the Bible comes and tells me. After he was weaned. And he is brought into the temple. Mama and Baba goes home. Mama yake na baba yake wakarudi nyumbani. But every single year. Lakini kila mwaka. Follow this. Fuatilia haya. He is very young. Yeye ni mchanga sana. Very young. Ni mchanga sana. Every single year. Kila mwaka. Mama would make a small apron, a small effort. Mama yake angemtengenezea kanzu ndogo. What is she doing? Anafanya nini? She is positioning her, I mean him, for the ministry. Anamueka mahali na kumtayarisha kwa ajili ya huduma. She is positioning the boy. Anamuelekeza mahali huyu mtoto. Prophetically. Kwa jia ya kinabi. For the ministry. Kwa ajili ya huduma. What a wise mama. Huyu ni mama alie na busara kiasi gani. What a wise mama. Ni mama mwenye busara kiasi gani. It is one thing to bring our children to the church. Oh, let me say this. It's one thing to bring our children for dedication. It is an, another, another thing to bring our children to Sunday school. But this woman goes one step farther. Every single year, she is prophetically positioning this boy for ministry. I'll say that again. It is one thing. To bring our children for dedication. It is one thing. To bring them to the Sunday school. But it is another thing. To continually position them for ministry. Whether they will be doctors. Whether they will be lawyers. Whether they will be farmers. Whether they will be engineers. I, I want you to see something. Every single year. This woman would come with an effort. Mama angekuja na kanzu. An effort. He kanzu. Naivera, yes. Naivera. He naivera. Was specifically for priests. Ilikuwa nguo ilio tengewa makuhani. And it had it. 12 stones right here in front. Standing for the 12 tribes of Israel. This boy every morning would wake up. And she, he would look at this na, effort. Na atazame hiyo naivera. And the next thing that would come up in his mind is the burden for the 12 tribes of Israel. The people of God. He, he carried something to prophetically tell him you are brought into the world not for yourself, but for the 12 tribes of Israel. Alibeba kitu ambacho kilimkumbusha kila wakati ya kwamba, ulikuja hapa sio kwa ajili yako peke yako, lakini kwa ajili ya makabila kuminambili ya Israeli. 
today if you talk to the teachers. Leo ukinena na walimu. If you talk to Mrs. Jeraine here. Ukizungumza na Mrs. Jeraine hapa. I, I will not be surprised if she starts weeping. I will si, not be surprised if she starts weeping. Sita shangaa akianza kulia. When she sees not just the children of heathens. Wakati anapoona sio tu watoto wa watu wa mataifa but children lakini watoto our children watoto wetu we who are born again sisi ambao tumeokoka in drugs in alcohol and all kinds of things kwa madawa ya kulevya kwa ulevi na kila mambo maovu we are getting those children tunanyakua wale watoto we are getting those children tunanyakua wale watoto i want to declare by the word of god natangaza kwa neno la mungu they we brought them to the house of god tuliwaleta kwa nyumba ya mungu some of them stayed some of them are not there wengine walibaki wengine hawapo tena but whether they are in or whether they are out lakini iwe wako ndani ama wako we will get hold of them tutawashika we will get hold of them in the name of the Lord and upon them we will put an effort we will prophetically 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 declare possession them to serve God all days of their lives watch this I remember the Lord speaking to me about this conference. I remember him talking to me about this conference. And he told me I don't want an event. Watch this. This woman would position Huyu mwanamke alikuwa anamuelekeza. She would position the son once a year for ministry. Alimuelekeza na kumpanga mwanawe mara moja kwa mwaka kwa ajili ya huduma. And I want you to remember. Na ninataka ukumbuke the sons of Eli, the high priest at that time were party boys. Ya kwamba wana wa Eli ambaye alikuwa mkuhani mkuu wakati ule walikuwa tu ni watu wa kusherehekea maisha they were even grabbing the women that were coming to the temple hata walikuwa wana wanajisi wanawake waliokuja hekaluni but this mama lakini huyu mama says this boy akasema huyu mwanangu this boy huyu mwanangu is the generation of the upright that is already blessed huyu ni uzao wa wenye haki ambao tayari umebarikiwa this is the generation huyu ndio uzao that will be great in the land ambao utakuwa mkuu katika nchi i am not just going to say it. mimi sitasema tu but I will every your position lakini kila mwaka nitakuwa for that greatness kwa sababu ya ule uku. for that blessing for that ministry every single year watch this tazama haya watch this tazama haya what i'm talking about is what changes the destinies of our children Ninachokizungumzia dicho kinachobadilisha hatima ya watoto wetu such that even if they go hivi kwamba hata ikiwa wataondoka and they sink in the world na wazame dunia ulimwenguni the ulimwengu unawatapika i declare by the word of god ninatangaza kupitia today, neno la mungu leo today leo, we are speaking to the world to vomit our children I declare by the word of God today he are the word of the Lord he are the word of the Lord world he are the word of the Lord devil you have made our children utawatema watoto wetu 
every year kila mwaka every year kila mwaka every year kila mwaka and it's because the temple was far the temple was far na ni kwa sababu hekalu ilikuwa mbali kidogo but she would come with the husband lakini angeandamana na mumewe when the husband is coming wakati mumewe alikuwa anaenda hekaluni and many times they were coming if it is for passover or the feast of the patabarakos i mean it was not the i mean the holy of holies was not open for everybody walikuwa wanakuja kwa sherehe zilizoandaliwa kulingana na waisraeli But listen to this. Lakini sikia haya. The holy of holies for us is open 24/7. Pa, patakatifu pa watakatifu pa mefunguliwa kwetu kila wakati. But the issue is Lakini jambo lililopo ni kwamba how to position our children. Tunahitaji kujua vile tutakavyowaelekeza watoto wetu. To position our children. Kupanga watoto wetu. Listen to this. Sikiliza haya. For what God already has for them. Kwa sababu ya yale Mungu tayari amewaandalia. The world must vomit our children. Ulimwengu lazima uwatapike watoto wetu. I declare by the word of God. Ninatangaza kupitia neno la Mungu. The world must vomit our children. Ulimwengu lazima uwatapike watoto wetu. I declare by the word of God. Ninatangaza kwa neno la Mungu. That our children become so bitter for the world the world must spit them out ya kwamba watoto wetu watakuwa wachungu sana kwa ulimwengu hivi kwamba ulimwengu utakuwa na budi ya kuwatema my heart goes for naomi my heart goes for naomi roho yangu inamwendea naomi very wise woman mwanamke mwenye hekima sana very wise woman mwanamke mwenye hekima Listen to this. Sikiliza haya. One day Ruth says, "Mama, uh, I have some energy." Siku moja Ruth akamwambia, "Mama, mimi ninajisikia ni ngali niko na nguvu." We cannot die here. Hatuwezi kukaa hapa tuangamie. Allow me to go into the fields. Niruhusu niende huko mashambani. Where I find favor. Nikipata kibali ni sawa. I, 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 I'll come with the little I can get. Nitakuja na kile nitakachokipata. And if you want to know about placement look at the way the Bible says God ordained her feet to go all the way to the field of Boaz nowhere else. Ukitaka kujua juu ya kuelekezwa utaona vile Mungu alivyomuelekeza mpaka kwenye shamba la Boazu. Nowhere else. Na sio mahali pengine popote. That's divine placement. Hiyo ndiyo kuelekezwa kwa njia ya kiroho. Kina... Listen to this. Lakini sikia haya. When Ruth comes back. Wakati Ruth anaporudi with a lesser full of grain. Akiwa na shuka iliyojaa nafaka. This woman says God is doing something here. Huyu mwanamke anasema Mungu anateda jambo hapa. God is doing something here. Kuna kitu Mungu anatenda hapa. God is doing something here. Kuna kitu Mungu anatenda hapa. Cause that girl. Na anamuita huyu binti and tells her. Na akamwambia I think there is something God is doing here. Nafikiri kuna jambo Mungu anatenda hapa. But you need one more level of placement. Lakini unahitaji kiwango kingine cha kuelekezwa. One more level. Jambo lingine kiwango o, kingine kiwango kingine first level kiwango cha kwanza God led you to that field Mungu alikuelekeza kwa lile shamba second level kiwango cha pili usilalie masikio <laughs> be wise you didn't know what i said haukusikia niliyoyasema okay. tell your neighbor what i said ambia jirani yako nilivyosema fast level kiwango cha kwanza listen to this sikia haya hana 
takes the boy to the temple. Hana anampeleka mtoto hekaluni. Second level. Kiwango cha pili. Tell your neighbor, usilalie maski. Ambia jirani yako usilalie maskio. Every year. Kila mwaka she comes with an effort. Anakuja na naivera. Ruth. Ruth tonight. Usiku wa leo. Position yourself. Jipange vizuri. That guy is coming to check on how the harvest has been going on. Huyo mzee anakuja kuangalia vile uvunaji unaendelea. Be in the right place at the right time. Kuwa mahali panapofaa wakati unaofaa. Placement. Kupangwa. We want to take our children. Tunataka kuchukua watoto wetu. The way Hannah did it. Vile hana alivyofanya. The way Naomi did it. Vile Naomi alivyofanya. We want to take our children. Tunataka kuchukua watoto wetu. And first of all, spiritually, place them in the right place at the right time. Na kwanza kabisa kiroho tuwaweke mahali panapofaa wakati unaofaa. Do you know why? Unajua kwa nini? Because God has taken the first step. Maana Mungu amechukua hatua ya kwanza. He has positioned us by the well. Ametuweka pale kisimani. Now, after you are positioned by the well. Na sasa unapowekwa pale kisimani. Tell your neighbor usilalie maski. Ambia jirani yako be wise. Uh, is anybody hearing me? When the water starts flowing out, the first person to get that water which should be your children. Tell your neighbor, God loves you to be here. One day you will remember today. Mungu anataka usikie ya kwamba umekumbukwa. Listen to this. Sikiliza haya. Even they that have children by faith. Hata wale ambao wako na watoto kwa imani. Placement. Kupangwa. Placement. Kuelekezwa. And I want you to see something. Na kuna jambo ninataka uone. Mama Hana or Mama Samuel Huyu mama Samueli she would bring a nephew every single year Alikuwa analeta naivera kila mwaka not for the children of Eli sio kwa ajili ya watoto wa Eli You didn't hear what I said Haukusikia vile nilivyosema It's my children first. Ni watoto wangu kwanza. No, you didn't hear what I said. Haukusikia nilivyosema. Okay, let me explain to you first. Wacha nikuelezee kwanza. First. Kwanza Josh and Anne. Ni Joshua na Anne. Love yourself. I mean love others as Penda mwenzako unavyojipenda wewe mwenyewe. Is that the Bible? Hiyo ni Biblia. I am putting a nephew upon Josh, a new one, and a new one upon Anne today. Ninaweka Naivera kwa timu na Abi na Jose leo. Are you serious? That's a bad interpreter. <laughs> Come on, give her a nice hand. <laughs> this one loves herself. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Listen to this. Sikia haya. Did she care what people said? Je, alijali yale watu walivyosema? Hakujali. Excuse me. I am putting it on Samuel because Samuel I dedicated to the Lord. 
Ninamvisha Samueli kwa sababu Samueli nilimweka wakfu kwa Mungu. But I'll pray for the children of Eli. Lakini ninawaombea watoto wa Eli. You didn't hear what I'm saying. Haukusikia nilivyosema. I will pray for the children of Eli. Nitaombea watoto wa Eli. But listen to this. Lakini nisikie. But when it comes to Samuel. Lakini tunapofika kwa Samuel. I am going to bring the ephod myself. Nitaleta na ivera mimi mwenyewe. Listen to this. Sikiliza haya. It is so vital ni jambo la muhimu sana for us to understand this. Kwetu sisi kuelewa that God is doing something very new. Ya kwamba Mungu anafanya jambo lililo wazi. And this begins with placement. Na jambo hili linaanza na kuwekwa mahali. Can I help you? Wacha nikusaidie. We are going to put effort upon David. Tunaenda kuweka naivera kwa Daudi. David is the one that was born but rejected. Daudi ni yeye aliyezaliwa lakini akakataliwa. I'm talking to a mama here. Ninanenea mama hapa. That man hates your children. Ambaye huyo mwanaume anachukia watoto wako. I hear I have a word for you. Niko na neno kwa ajili yako. There is a ceremony. Kuna sherehe fulani. There is an issue. Kuna jambo. There is something. Kuna jambo. That will not go on. Ambalo haitaendelea. Until David is brought here. Mpaka Daudi aletwe hapa. I declare that by the word of God. Ninatangaza hayo kwa jina la Mungu. Things will never move. Mambo hakamwe hata Things will never move in that family. Mambo yatakoma kwa jamii yangu. They will never move in that community. Mambo hayataendelea kwa jamii yangu. Until David is gotten from the field. Is gotten from the field. Why is time for divine placement? So that destinies can change. The destiny of the city of Samaria changed when that woman was brought to the world. Is anybody in this house? The, the destiny of Abraham's house changed when Rebecca came to the world. The destiny of Jacob's house changed when Rachel came to that well. It is so important that you hear this. We are getting the displaced David back to his place. And we are going to do it first and foremost spiritually. Na kwanza kabisa tutafanya hilo jambo kwa anga ya kiroho. We are going to to get. Tunaenda kunyakua. The displaced children ministry. Wa ile huduma ya watoto ambayo imetolewa mahali pake. In your pake. church. Katika kanisa lako. We will get hold of it. Tutaishika. And bring it to place. Na kuileta mahali pake. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. With the right teachers. Na walimu wanaofaa. With the right pastors. We are calling it right now. In the name of Jesus. Placement. By the well. The woman. At the well. David. Daudi. Must be brought. Lazima aletwe. Did you hear what I'm saying? Unasikia ninayoyasema? Did you hear what I'm saying? Unasikia ale ale ninayosema? Samuel must be brought I mean it's Moses must be brought back to Egypt. Musa lazima lazima aletwe tena Misri. He must. Lazima. Moses is the boy they chased away. Musa ni yule kijana waliyefukuza. 
and told him, you, you killed the Egyptian yesterday and now you want to be our judge and you want to kill us, get out of here. Wakamwambia wewe ulimuua mumisri jana na sasa unataka kutuongoza, tuondoke mbali. But listen to this. Lakini sikia. It was not until Moses came they saw the deliverance of the Lord. Ilibidi Musa arudi ndio waone ukombozi wa Mungu. We must bring up the Moses. Lazima tuwarudishe akina Musa. We must bring the David. Lazima tuwarejeshe akina Daudi. We must position Samuel. Lazima tuwaelekeze Samuel. We must position Ruth. Lazima tuwaelekeze Ruth. Because that's what God is saying. Maana hivyo ndivyo Mungu anavyosema. The well is there. Kisima kiko pale. Living water is there. Maji yaliyo hai yako pale. But we need this woman to come. Na tunahitaji huyu mwanamke aje. And come with her city. Na aje na dhambi zake. City. Na aje na mji wake. The whole city. Mji wote ukiwa mzima. And this is the city that was calling her pro 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 every day every day they were calling her prostitutes na hu ndio mji uliokuwa kila siku wanamuita malaya i come to de- de- declare by the word of god na kuja kutangaza kwa neno la mungu right now sasa you are children watoto wako it does not matter what name they gave them Haijalishi walipewa majina gani? Doesn't matter. Haijalishi. It does not matter. Haijalishi kama. I declare this by the word of God. Natangaza kwa neno la Mungu. Does not matter. Kwamba kamwe haijalishi. They must we must put a knee forward. Lazima tuavishe na ivera. Today. Leo. Today. Leo. Today. Leo hi. I am saying today. Ninasema leo hi. I'm saying today. Ninasema leo. Not another day. Sio siku nyingine. But I'm saying today. Ninasema leo. Is anybody in this house? Kuna mtu kwa nyumba hii. This is so important. Hili ni jambo la muhimu sana. For you. Kwako wewe. And for me. Na kwangu mimi. That's why God brought you here. Ndio maana Mungu alikuleta hapa. And what will take place here? Na kitakachofanyika hapa will determine the route your children will take the rest of their life. Kitaelezea mwelekeo watoto wako watakaochukua maisha yao yote. I'll say that again. Nitarudia mara tena. What will take place here today? Kitakachotendeka hapa leo. What will take place today? Kitakachotendeka hapa leo. We will determine. Kitaelekeza. The route. Njia. The direction. Mwelekeo. Your children will take. Watoto wako watakayochukua. The rest of their lives. Siku zote za maisha yao. I'm going to give you some very important instructions. Nitawapatia maagizo ya muhimu sana. Very very important instructions. Maagizo ya muhimu sana. Praise team come up here. Kipindi cha kikundi cha sifa na kuabudu kujeni hapa mbele. Come here, please. Come here, please. Praise and worship. We want serious worship here. Tunataka kuabudu. We came to meet with God. Tulikuja kukutana na Mungu. Because God is here to meet with us. Maana Mungu wako hapa kukutana nasi. Children. 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 Our children. Watoto wetu. Our children. Watoto wetu. Our children. Watoto wetu. Our children. Watoto wetu. I'm saying our children. Ninasema watoto wetu. I'm saying our children. Nasema watoto wetu. I'm saying our children. Ninasema watoto wetu. I declare. Ninatangaza. Bang. Drugs. Alcohol. Sex. Illicit sex is not 
the inheritance of our children. Ya kwamba ulevi na utumiaji wa madawa ya kulevia na mambo mabaya hiyo sio urithi ya watoto wetu. I want to declare by the word of God. Natangaza kwa neno la Mungu. Right now. Sasa hivi. Right now. Sasa hivi. Right now. Sasa hivi. That bad peers is not the inheritance of our children. Ya kwamba huo urafiki mbaya sio sehemu ya watoto wetu. No way. Sio hivyo. No way. Haitakuwa hivyo. I want hivyo. to declare by the word of God. Some of the friends our children have will vomit them out. Today, I, I am saying today. I'm saying now. I'm saying now. I'm saying now. Hear the word of the Lord. Bad friends vomit our children. Vomit our children. Hear the word of the Lord. Wow. Wow. Hear the word of the Lord. Vomit our children. Right now. Right now. Vomit our children. Vomit our children. Listen to this. I feel pain. Nina hiss you chung. And this pain coming from here. Nani uchungu nao toka humu? Because of what they call your children. Kwa sababu ya vile wanavyoita watoto wako. They call your children and it is actually catching up with them. Wanaita watoto wako na hayo majina. There are, there are things they call your children. Kuna majina wanayoita watoto wako. They did that sometime back. Kwa sababu ya mambo waliotenda hapo awali. But listen to this. Lakini sikia haya. It pain. I feel pain. Because these ones are starting to catch up with the son, with your children, but I am nullifying them right now, right now, right here, right now, right here, in the name of Jesus. It's pain. And I nullify those labels. Oh boy, it's painful. Even some of the, the, the worst part of it is that even the believers are the ones labeling your children. But I cancel them right now. I nullify them right now. Right now. Right now. In the labor put on our children. Our grandchildren. Our great great grandchildren. In the labor from underworld. In the labor from anywhere. I nullify now in the name of Jesus. I declare our children are sons and daughters of the Most High God. the rejected ones. I'm calling them right now. I am positioning them right now in their right place at the right time in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name.
But I'll tell you what you are doing. Lakini niliza kuambia utakachofanya. I feel the unction of the Holy Ghost to give you this instruction. Ninasikia Roho Mtakatifu akiniongoza niwapatie haya maagizo. Even if it's a handkerchief. Hata kama ni kitambaa chako cha mkono. Not now, not now. Sio dakika hii. Handkerchief. Kitambaa chako cha mkono. That will stand for that effort. Ambayo itaashiria ile naivera. It will stand for. Itaashiria that effort ile naivera or maybe you come with a t-shirt or a small dress or a small uh, shirt whatever it is you will bring that in the afternoon ama ulete mavasi ama kitu chochote kile utakileta masaya adhuhuri we will pray for them tutaziombea you will go and give them na wewe utaenda na kuwakabidhi even if it's a shoe hata kama ni kiatu and prophetically it will stand for an effort that we will be on them a spiritual gown that will be on them the rest of their lives your children your grandchildren all your young brother or sister hata wale ndugu zetu na dada zetu walio nyuma yetu but we are calling them today lakini tunawaita leo it's time for placement yes. wakati umefika wa kuwapanga and i'll say this very kindly na nitasema hivi kwa njia nzuri sana the ladies who have put up this meeting will feel a lot of pain if you just leave this place having come for an event and not met with God. Wa mama wa itakuwa uchungu mkubwa sana ukija katika mkutano huu na uondoke ukiwa haujakutana na Mungu. Focus on God now. Weka mwelekeo wako kwa Mungu. Forget about the friends that you want to meet sahau marafiki ambao umetarajia kukutana na wao if you feel to go to the power house after this please go to the power house ukisikia ya kwamba utaenda kwa power house baada ya haya tafadhali teremka huko but listen to this lakini sikiliza haya it's a very serious moment ni jam ni wakati ambao umemaanisha sana it is a deciding moment for your children your children choke ni wakati wa maamuzi kwa ajili ya watoto wako na wajukuu wako give us worship please mighty man of war lion of judah my god we bow down and worship you raise up our hands
worship you, Lord. Shandara Barara Kaire, Shandara Barara Katsa, 
Sandere berere, sandara barara kote, okama sarubari bajiri, sandara barara ka, 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 rana mana sar, hendere berere, kara berere ka. Sandara barara kar, sandara barara kar, sandere berere, sandara barara kar, sandere berere kai, sandara barara kar, sandere berere, sandara barara. Oh, kama saru bari ma, jiri ma, jiri ma, sandara barara kar. Sandara barara kazamai, sandara barara kazamai, sandara barara kazamai, sandere berere kara le berere kat, bokara barara kara le berere kai, sandara barara kara le berere kat, sandara barara ka, sandere berere kai le, sandara barara kazamai, sandara barara ka. Sandara barara ka, sandere berere ka, sandara barara ka. My God. In that mood of worship, don't move. Please don't move. Help her because I want her to do something else. I want you. Listen to this very carefully. And please give me a lesson. Natafadhali mtu anisaidie na leso. No, you stand here with us. Simama hapo mamatini. Listen to this. Listen to these instructions. Sikiza haya maagizo. You are here. 
ya mama. Wewe ndiye mama. You are here. Na kwa hapa and you know you have a David that was rejected. Na unajua ya kwamba una Daudi wako ambaye alikataliwa. By the father na jamii the father na baba yake or the family ama jamii in that mood of worship katika hali hiyo ya kuabudu don't disturb the spirit in the house usisumbue usisumbue roho aliye nyumbani hapa write that name andika jina la huyo daudi and put it on this lesson na utakuja uliwekelee hilo jina kwenye leso hii. Right Hapa. If I were you, I would not even sit down, I would be kneeling down. I'm telling you. Will you go right quickly and bring it? Give us worship. I, I'm not saying all oh, your children we will pray for your children. Sisemi watoto wako wote na tutawaombea watoto wako. I'm saying a, a child you gave birth to and it was rejected either by the father or the family. Nasema mtoto ambaye ulimzaa kwa tumbo lako na alikataliwa na iwe labda baba ama jamii. And even today na hata leo hii suffers uh, anateseka the effects of that rejection anateseka kwa ajili ya matukio ya kukataliwa kule not anybody else's children si mtoto wa mtu mwingine please tafadhali jamani a child from your womb mtoto uliyembeba kwa tumbo lako thank you very much keep standing Bravo. Stand up and worship. We bow down and worship you. Whatever corner of this list so you hold up hold it up there. Ah uh, shika pembe pembe ya ah uh, uh, kitambaa hichi na muweke pale katikati. Some of you should be here. Wengine wenu wewe bwa huku nyuma. We are receiving this children. Hawa watoto tunawapokea and we are placing them na tunawaweka by the word of god kwa neno la mungu we are positioning tunawawekelea for unusual favor yes lord kwa ajili ya kupendeka kusiko kwa kawaida as the priesthood kama makuhani as the summer did to david 
kama jinsi vile ambavyo Samueli alifanya kwa Daudi We are positioning these children Tunawaweka hawa watoto according to the instructions of the Holy Ghost kulingana na maagizo ya Roho Mtakatifu for very unusual kwa ajili ya kibali ama kupendeka kusio kwa kawaida and from today natoka leo i declare ninatangaza they are far shines brighter yes. and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter by the day mapito yao yataendelea kuangaza zaidi na zaidi na zaidi na zaidi in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu raise up your hands yosha mikono yenu give us worship please ndio maana nakuita jehova yes lord tell him ndio maana nakuita jehova my god my god ulisema utatenda my god raise up your hands nyosha mikono yako this is what you will do hivi ndivyo utakavyofanya you will be given a path and you will go under there utapewa nafasi hapa na utaenda pale chini together with mama sami pamoja na mama sami we are pulling all the i mean the blessing of the fathers that you are denied these children tunaleta baraka zote za baba ambazo hao watoto walinyimwa from that generation from the generations behind kutoka kwa vizazi vilivyopita and the favor the unusual favor of the, their lives na kibali kisicho cha kawaida juu yao will actually accumulate them over their heads kitajazana juu ya vichwa vyao even as they go into their future hata wanapoenenda katika siku zao zijazo mama sami represents the blessings that they were denied from the past mama sami wa hapa kiambu atawakilisha baraka ambazo walinyimwa katika siku zao zilizopita mama sami here from the other side will represent those blessings into their future na mama sami askofu atawakilisha baraka zao za siku zijazo so you will give them you know a space that you lift up those those children up they go under there aha mtawapatia njia hapo wataenda chini watapita hapo chini ya in the middle na watakapokuwa chini ya hiyo leso watanyosha mikono yao juu na watashikilia hiyo leso kutoka chini wa wa uh, kabidhi hao watoto kwa Mungu right there ha 
Right there. Come on. Give us worship now. Yes, Lord. My God. My God. what they are feeling. Because, I'm saying this because of a mama. The pain you have gone through. Even yourself, you have given up on that child. Hang on. And that's why you never brought the name. Will you bring that name right now? Ask them. Ask them. In fact, Ashas, can you come quickly and surround them? Ashas and John who are side here, Tafadali. Please. Quickly. 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 Anything may happen here now. Anything may happen here now. Anything may happen here now. Anything. 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 In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. We declare right now our children receive receive that is right there right there right there in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost right now right now right now right now right now Somebody pray. 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 Father, we are grateful for Amazing work here. Favor upon favor. Favor upon favor. Favor upon favor. Give us this place so I don't move. Give us those names and don't move. To the higher Magina, hold them. Yafunga, hold them. Yafunganishe, hold them and bring them. Yafunganishe, don't move. Usiondoke, hold them very well and bring them. Yafunga Vizuri, Namusiondoke, bring them now. Yalete Sasa Hibi, now. Sasa, bring them. Yalete, thank you. Listen to this. Skiza he. This one's remain here until the afternoon. Ma, ha, Please, don't, don't bring others from it the a, crowd. Now, 
just the way you are. Sasa jinsi mlivyo hebu kumbatia neno. You are all angels. Kumba Kumba nyinyi nyinyi ni akina dada. I mean oh, very close. Mkaribiane sana, mkaribiane sana, mkumbatiane, mkaribiane. I declare. Mimi natangaza. Listen to this. Sikiza hii. Raise up your hand. Sote tunyoshe mikono. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I declare right now. The Lord. Bwana. For your children. In his house. Yes. Your own children. Like never before. Yes. In the name of the Father. Will you, will you raise up your hands now? This one. Hold hands. This one. Hold hands. This one. Hold hands. This one. Hold hands. Even can you come close? I declare. Nina Tangaza. You held that shuka. Ulishika hiyo shuka. You don't know what you held. How do you ulishika nini? I declare. Nina Tangaza. That your children. Yakobo atotoweni. Be held by the Lord. Washiku and I'm let him fall. Hebu awa. Awa pungai. Keep them. In his hands. And I declare. None of you. Ashamed of your children. Come on, raise up your hand. The anointing is flowing all over the congregation. There it is, right now. Kila mahali hapa. Kila Kila mahali. Kila mahali. Kila mahali. Kila mahali. The anointing. The grace. 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 Over our children. More grace. 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 Somebody pray. Somebody receive it. Receive it for your children. Receive it for your children. This one is for Josh. This one is for Anne. This is just for Josh. This is for Anne. And mutual favor. Raba Sakar, this is just the first part. We are coming in the afternoon. Huni wakati ambako unachukua simu yako unamwambia mwenzako ukikosa hii ambayo iko hapa utakosa milele. Unaikosa leo? Ngumu kuipata tena. 